compromise. What do you think the wise and the foolish were doing? Compromising with one another. And because the wise compromised with the foolish, they fell asleep with the foolish. We shouldn't fall asleep on God. The foolish, the enemy, is right in front of us. We shouldn't be shaking the Arminian's hand or any other hand that is heretical. Let us stand when the scripture says something that's very contentious, of which all the scriptures are contentious. We should not be afraid. It doesn't matter if you're a minister and you've got 50 members in the pews and you come to this scripture and 50 members say, oh, I disagree. Well, Christ has stood up and said so. And if they bugger off, they bugger off. It doesn't matter. You've quitted yourself as a man. It's the truth that matters, not us. It's the truth. If you lose your congregation, you lose your congregation and you're better off for it. Because you've quitted yourself as a Christian man. We're not in this world to seek fame and fortune. To be adored of men. Oh, when all the world says to you, you're good, you know that you're hated of God. You are detested of God. The world hates us. It hated Christ before us. Hates us. The world loves its own. The world loves its own. We certainly know when we are standing before God, when the Arminian comes up and he is repulsed. He sees what we are. And so do others. Straight talking. Not hard talking. Straight talking. Simple talking. Thou shalt not commit adultery. End of story. No argument. That is morality. Break morality, you break society. Simple as that. And then the world turns around, oh, he's a tub pumper. Anyhow, let the world say what it likes. We quit ourselves to speaking the truth. And again, except to be for fornication, adultery. <coughs> A man or woman cannot marry again. That is plain. That is simple. If you don't like it, then the issue again is between you and Christ. You've got to sort that issue out between you and Christ. Not the servant, but the master. 